So I don't know if this is true for everyone, but one thing about me is I do not like to go out of town on vacation or any kind of trip without cleaning my house really good before I leave. There's just something about coming home, being exhausted on the road afterwards and coming into a clean house that is just so much more relaxing and less stressful to me to I do not like to come home to a messy house with a lot of work to do looking at me when I'm tired from a trip. So today I am getting my house a little bit of a reset and just cleaning up and doing some things that need to be done because we are about to go visit Josh's parents in Louisiana. It is a five hour trip for us and we will be gone for about three days. I've been awake since probably eight o'clock or somewhere around there and I drank coffee until like 9 30 and I was just slow moving this morning so I um, actually got started on everything made my bed and all that around 10 o'clock and I wanted to start in the kitchen we had spaghetti last night so even though I cleaned up last night I, I could still see like a spaghetti sauce smeared all over the table and stuff from the kids so I wanted to go ahead and get all that cleaned up I still have flies in my house so I don't want to leave anything left behind for them to eat on <laughs> I don't want them having any chance of survival while we're gone so I just wanted to get my kitchen in order and then I will show y'all a little bit later in the video something that happened to us the past couple of days and it is just it's been a wild couple of days I'll just I'll put it that way and here's here's the flies here is my proof look at them there look that one's just over there rubbing his hands together relaxing on my floor and just sunbathing in the sunlight so oh my gosh i'm so sick of the flies anyways i'm gonna clean my kitchen and then i want to share something with y'all here in a minute Had to take a little mom break here because I was trying to teach Brigham how to eat the popsicle, the kind that just come like in the clear plastic that you just really bite and push up with your mouth and your fingers. He was struggling so hard to figure out how to get that ice pop up there. So I was trying to show him how to do that. And once I finish unloading my dishwasher, I am going to go ahead and start working on my floors. So while I'm finishing up my dishes and cleaning my kitchen sink, I figured I would go ahead and start with my little story time. So we have been going through it with our lawnmower. So we finally decided enough was enough. We have worked on that thing every single weekend, literally just trying to cut the grass and there's always something wrong with it. So we finally decided that it was just time to get a new one. We ordered a new lawnmower brand new from Lowe's and it was delivered to us without a belt on it it was it had no belt okay literally they delivered a lawnmower with no belt on it so and that is not normal by the way if you if you don't know that is not usual they are supposed to be delivered ready to mow okay so we had to get all that sorted out and while we're trying to figure all that out we we're outside in between going in the house and coming outside it was so busy well somehow my youngest son Channing he's 11 months old he took a bath and I don't know if it was me or Josh who got him out it, it doesn't really matter because it, it definitely could have been me but um no one put a diaper on him yet he's at that age where he just rolls around so I think he got away from us like out of the towel and then it just like no one put a diaper on him so he literally pooped all over my rug. My living room rug was not even like six months old. I had replaced my other one with this one. And I'm so glad that all I did was go to Ross and get a rug because y'all, it was like smeared 
into the fibers there was no way that I could even carpet shampoo that out like I just it, it was just gross so we had to roll it up and it is going to the dump so that's why I'm here at Ross I'm looking for another rug this is why I do not have expensive furniture in my living room if you notice I had the opportunity to have really nice furniture and I just I didn't want to do it for it to just get ruined and it's not like my kids are bad they're just kids like stuff just does not hold up when you have kids around like not furniture wise so I went ahead and started cleaning my floors really good before I brought the new rug home and the one I picked out is not necessarily like my dream rug it's not even really my style or what I would just really want but I'm not paying two or three hundred dollars for a nice rug for something like that to accidentally happen again like while my kids are young it's just not necessary and not smart for me to do that So here's where you can start to get like an idea of what the rug looks like. At first I thought it was like kind of a geometric looking pattern, but it honestly it looks a little bit more like a like a braided type pattern, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's it's definitely different. It is gray and white, so it will probably not look that white in a few months, but I tried to go for something that has a pattern and has a little bit of color on it and I also like my rugs to be sorry really soft and fluffy because my kids like to lay down there and watch TV and we like to just play down there the baby is crawling on his knees and all that all the time so I like to have like just a really soft and cushiony surface for us to lay at and it is smaller than my last rug but it still works for my very small living room in this little space so there's it a little bit up close and i also wanted to show you guys my new pillows from walmart these i think are the mainstays brand and they were only like 11 dollars. i had to replace my uh, couch pillows because the zipper broke on one of the covers and I could not figure it out. I, I tried to put it back on. I couldn't do it. So I had to replace those and I kept one cover because one of them was still intact. And if I find the right size pillow for it, I might just put that on there. But for now, I just wanted to go ahead and replace them. So I got these for $11 at Walmart and I think they look really cute and really perfect color match for my couch and the blanket. It feels so good to have all of that set up and to have some pillows up there because I was out couch pillows for uh, several days and it just looked really naked on my couch so now I am cleaning my car out my car is not that bad but again we're going on a road trip and I do not like to start out a road trip in an already like trashed car and so I'm just gathering all of the trash that has accumulated up here at the front taking all the clothes and just extra stuff hanging out in the car and just making it really nice and fresh in the morning so we can start off with a clean car.
this is actually not bad for my car. Sometimes it gets really messy, but I really just had a little bit of trash and a couple like cups and dishes to take inside the house. And then I just wanted to give the kids car seats a nice little wipe down and get all of the crumbs out from their seats so they can have a clean car seat for the ride. And um, after I do this, I'm just gonna start packing our bags. So I went ahead and packed all of the boys clothes in one bag together and I also laid out their clothes to put on first thing in the morning since we're going to be trying to leave early. That way all we have to do in the morning is get them dressed, throw everything in the car and get on the road. So because my mother-in-law does not have like a high chair or anything like that at her house, I am borrowing this one from my mama's house and I'm just going to take it with us so we can have somewhere to put Channing whenever we eat meals. Um, I think they're going to be cooking a lot while we're over there doing crawfish and stuff like that. So I want to be able to put him down somewhere and buckle him in because he will try to get out while we're all trying to eat. So this was really dirty from sitting on my mom's back porch and it had got rained on and all that thing. So I had to bring it in the house and get it cleaned up before taking it to my in-laws house and in my car. And I wanted to give you guys another update on the Zevo flytrap. Um, I'm not sponsored, but I just really feel like, like, I don't know. If you're struggling with flies, you need to get this thing. And if you are reading reviews where people are saying it does not work, I find that when you plug this in, you really need to turn the light off in the room that it's in because they're attracted to the light. There is not some kind of scent on it. It does not smell a certain way. They are literally going there because of the light and then they're getting stuck on the pad. So I definitely recommend it. And then because my house looks very clean and looks nice, I always want it to smell the same. Like I want it to smell how it looks. I want it to be clean looking. So I'm just going to put the Revive Spa Day essential oil in all of my diffusers. And I'm going to try to do this like in most of my bedrooms to really get the smell going. That way when I come home from this trip, everything will feel clean, look clean, smell clean. And I will not have to stress about that whenever I get home with some cranky toddlers. I hope that this video brought you cleaning motivation, relaxation, entertainment, whatever you may need. And for all of the dads out there, all of the people who have lost their dads, want to be a dad, whoever you are, happy Father's Day to you. I hope you all have a great week and I will see y'all next time.